Hey, how you doing? I'm Van. Do me a favor real quick. Think of your favorite heavy metal band in the entire world. But I don't mean like new metal, no, no black metal, no viking metal, you know, no industrial metal, none of that stuff, just pure heavy metal. But we don't mean like power metal either though. Not speed metal, uh, you know, all the cores are out too, you know, like grind core and like punk core, none of that stuff. Uh, just, just heavy metal. You know what, not even heavy metal, you don't have a favorite band anymore. So yeah, I'm a metalhead, unfortunately. And as it turns out, um, the metal community kind of sucks. And I don't really mean even the metal community online. I mean just metalheads as a whole. But metal has a lot of problems even outside of its fan base. And I think we need to talk about them because I really enjoy metal as... A music genre. It is what I identify with the most. I grew up in a house listening to Metallica, Iron Maiden, Megadeth, Anthrax, Slayer, all the classics, all the old gods of old metal. And even now, I kind of try to keep up with the music scene. I'm older now, so it's much more difficult. I don't have my pul like my fingers on the pulse of everything. But, you know, I still know about things like Beartooth and, um, yeah, I promise I know others. <laughs> Uh, Beartooth's just the only one that's coming to me right now. Metal had its day in the sun in the 80s, uh, early 90s, I would say. And then after that, it just fell to the wayside. I can't tell you the last time I've even heard hard rock on the radio. Like, actual hard rock. And think, when was the last time you saw, like, a metal video, like, a metal music video trending? Like, actually... Truly more than 1 million view trending. And I know 1 million is still a lot, but compared to, you know, the Ariana Grandes and the Eminem's and uh, the other, the other things of that nature, it's, it's not doing those kinds of numbers. Because metal is not mainstream. In particular, I think there are three issues, three, that most people have trouble with whenever it comes to metal. Going into metal and learning about it and becoming part of the culture and the community. None of these are in any particular order. Each of them have their own sets of merits and depending on your particular experience, one can be more relevant than the other. First and most obviously, subgenres. And let me tell you, from somebody who likes to explore possibilities, if I didn't know these subgenres going into metal, I would have been stonewalled. I would have stopped in my tracks and been like, that's too much. I'm, I'm not, I can't, uh uh, no, not for me. We have metal, heavy metal, speed metal, power metal, thrash metal, death metal, melodic death metal, technical death metal, brutal death metal, slam death metal, black death metal, Black and Thrash Death Metal, True Norwegian Black Death Metal, Depressive Suicidal Black Metal, um, Pagan Metal, Viking Metal, Folk Metal, Symphonic Gothic, uh, Glam Hair Doom, Funeral Doom, Stoner Doom, Sludge, Gent, others as well. There are 54 subgenres. That's, that, that's, that's too much. That's far too many. Far too much is happening there. Just tone it down several notches for the sake of everyone's sanity, because it looks like, a, like an insane amount to just introduce somebody to. And typically, that wouldn't be really, you know, much of a problem. Um, who cares if they don't know everything about a particular genre if they like one thing? Right? Well, no, that's not the case, because the number two problem is that metalheads exist in the way that they do. Metal has always appealed to a certain type of individual, and that is an individual who doesn't fit in with his group or his family, or their group or their family. Don't mean to be exclusive, that'd be, that'd be a dick move of me. But metal is so deeply tied with emotion and with feeling that it just becomes this thing that they feel the need to protect and gatekeep and keep people from damaging their thing that they identify with. This music made them feel something when nothing else could. Now there's this strange person uh, who you thought was your friend introducing you to music that you don't recognize. And that's scary to a lot of people because to say that these things are both metal 
is so baffling because metal is a pretty varied sounding genre. I understand truly the need for several subgenres. They're just, you know, too, a little too many, but whatever. But people are so passionate whenever it comes to defending metal that it becomes aggressive and it becomes counterintuitive. In sixth grade, I had on an Avenged Sevenfold t-shirt. When I walked into the hallway, I immediately made three enemies because there was no way that I knew who Avenged Sevenfold was, because I had just moved there, and they didn't know me. But it literally became, they did not like me, because I had on a shirt of a band they knew and they liked. And yes, this is not everybody, of course. This is likely even a pretty small minority, but this is pretty common experience whenever it comes to metal and trying to get into the community. You run into these gatekeepers who were just like, well, how about you tell me 14 of Nirvana's best songs or else you gotta take that shirt off? Like, that kind of thing, you know? Like, Metallica did how many albums? Can you count them in chronological order? Like, no, they can't because they it's not that fucking big of a deal, dude. Oh my god, relax. Just be happy that people are still sharing the logos and sharing the imagery. Be happy that it's still that baked into the culture that at least it hasn't gone away. There's a, a, another problem, and this is the, the big number three for me. Metal loves to be counterculture. Metal thrives in the counterculture, and at one point it was culture. It was the prime culture. It those parallel lines converged for a few short years, and metal has just drifted ever since in the opposite direction. Well, not parallel. Parallel doesn't mean that. Intersecting lines that just go in directions forever. I failed math in 11th grade. <laughs> oh, I had to go to summer school. That was fun. For those few years, metal was one of the biggest things in the world. It was truly incredible just seeing the sheer number of people at that Metallica concert in Russia. And Metal realized it didn't like that. It didn't want to be that. It wanted to be more because it is all about going against what is normal. They got you to accept for a brief period that metal was cool. And now they're going to do their own fucking thing with it. They're going to evolve it. They're going to change it. They're going to make it different, at least in some ways. They're going to experiment with the sound and the way that the sounds can exist. It's all still metal. It's just not the same metal because it's always been going against what people expect for it to do. I talk about metal like it's its own living entity, but truly whenever you start combining a lot of different opinions and ideologies and mixing them into a pot together, you create sort of a hive mind with its own seeming movements and like thoughts and feelings. I, I probably sound like a crazy person right now. So yeah, I think about five categories of metal would do. Vinyl metal, tape deck metal, Disc metal, wire metal, and torrential metal, all separated by decade. And of course, within each, you would have subgenres and subcategories that you would want to, but just be like, okay, do you like an older sound? Do you like the newest stuff, which incorporates like some hip hop elements or some newer instrumentation? Or do you want to go into like the one of the weird years, like the 2000s, when they really started like deviating and creating new sounds? Like, like, do we do we want to go there? Like, what's your t what? What do you pick? What do you what do you fancy? It's a better starting point for people to go by decades and by broad strokes than it is to jump specifically into every single subgenre. Especially if you have to learn four bands in every subgenre, like I've seen some metalheads say. But secondly. This, don't, just don't gatekeep. I'm fine with metal continuing as a counterculture mental state, or a counterculture mentality. Because it's gonna do that. That's how metal exists. But when people do try to identify with it, and do try to engage with it, encourage them to do that. Don't fight them off, don't tell them that their metal is wrong because it wasn't made between the years of 1981 and 1988. Just accept that they are metalheads, and that they are into the same thing that you're into. The over-specification of this genre has really affected its ability to reach people who may need it for the same reasons that you did. Thought about this as I was recording just now, um, and I don't know why I just thought about this, but t this is reason number four. Um, there are a good number of hate groups that have metal bands associated with them, so if you go too far down rabbit holes, uh, it just becomes racist bullshit. Uh, be careful with that. Don't do that. Don't engage with that. Look at it from a distance at best. Like, read about them on Wikipedia so you know, like, okay, yeah, these guys are terrible. It's probably not that big of a deal. But I feel like every year or so I hear about, like, 
a metal band like burning down a black church or something. Maybe I read the tabloids too much. I don't I don't know, man. It's it's a weird world out there. Out there? Out the here. Hey, thank you so much. Please subscribe. I'm very close to a thousand subscribers, and I would appreciate it tremendously if you helped me get there. Uh, if you want to do more than that, like, comment, do whatever, do all the YouTube crap. Um, but if you would subscribe, that'd be tremendous of you. I would, I would love that. It'd be phenomenal. I rambled a lot in this video. I apologize for that. Um, I, I am slightly elevated, so be that as it may, here I am. I also painted my chair. It's... Uh, you probably couldn't see it because of my jacket, but it's like solid black now. It looks much better. Still little chew marks and stuff from where the dogs got it. Uh, but that is, that is whatever. I've got two more videos focused on music um, coming up soon. They are similar to this topic in the way that this video is structured, but they are different. They are, they are different genres and a different take on the genres. I have zero hints to give about what they may be, but again, they are music and they are genre related. A after those are done, I will likely move on to another topic of some kind. I don't know. I have no direction for the channel. Anyway, y'all have a great rest of your night. You know, I think the hardest I ever saw my granddad laugh was when we were filling uh, the above ground pool in the backyard and the water was about over my ankles. And he asked me, he said, hey, Luke, uh, how deep does that look? About a foot? I looked down for a second, looked back up to him and I go, looks about two feet to me. <laughs>